case of the day and I've made it to week two. So this is a case I saw today, uh, the fifth case, and I've titled it the cervical thoracic sign. So this 45-year-old had breathlessness, a uh, very sharp radiologist uh, colleague of mine picked this up as a paratracheal opacity. Um, and my question to you is what do you uh, think this is? The cervical thoracic sign states that if the superior margin is sharp, and the margins are well defined and it's in the posterior mediastinum but if it's ill defined then it's usually anterior merging with the next structures and you can see um, uh, the radiologist then took an AP dorsal spine here it's seen really well sharply marginated against the aerated lung of the left upper lobe telling us that this is in the posterior mediastinum which was very well seen on this CT scan minimal enhancement if at all in some calcific foci and likely arising from the D2 nerve. The mean reconstruction here from the CT scan shows this really well, you know, how these margins are created, etc. So then the next question is what do you think it is? It's a solid lesion. Clearly this is a neurogenic tumor. And the next question after that is what do you advise? CT guided biopsy, active surveillance, you know, Remember the first case that I put up last Monday was why old scans make a difference. This patient had a COVID CT in August 21 and you can see that there is no change at all. And if something hasn't changed over three, three and a half years, you could pretty much leave alone or at best repeat the x-ray at one year. I did a similar case with an MRI. A uh, couple years ago in, at ctchestreview.com, uh, removed the paywall for a week or two so you can just go ahead and see this case and there are other examples of posterior paravertebral lesion. So this case is of the cervical thoracic sign allowing us to diagnose a neuroma unchanged over more than uh, three years. So that's my WhatsApp channel and thank you for viewing and listening to Case of the Day.